There was a very beautiful conversation that reminds me of this verse, and I'll be brief. That took place between Adam السلام, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Ibn Kathir records this in his tafsir of these verses. He says that when Adam was being taken away from this garden, he asked Allah a few questions. Number one, he said, My Lord, did you not create me with your own two hands? And Allah said, Yes. He said, Did you not breathe into me the breath of life and cause me to live? And Allah says, Yes. Did you not, when I sneeze, say, Allah, did, did, May Allah have mercy on you. Yes, I did say that. Then, ask, then Adam asked a very wise question to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that explains us. He said, when you created me, and you placed me in that garden, and you told me not to eat from that tree, didn't you already know I was going to eat from it? And see the wisdom of Adam and he said, and didn't you know I was going to eat from that tree? You see, Adam understood that Allah knew before creating anything that he was going to create Adam, he was going to put him in the garden and him and his wife, and they were going to eat from that tree even though they were told not to do so. Allah knew. So Allah said, yes, I knew you were going to do it. So Adam السلام, said, then can you not forgive me for that and put me back in that garden one day? And Allah said, yes. And he taught them the very famous words, my Lord, I have wronged my own soul. And if you do not forgive me and have mercy on me, surely I will be one of the losers. So you see, life is not about whether you will sin or not. Because you're going to sin. If you keep living, you're probably going to keep sinning at some point in your life. It's not about whether you will sin or not. Every son of Adam sins. What is important is what do you do about the sin? He said, but the best of those who sin are those who repent. You see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He told the angels, I know something you don't know. I'm proving a point here. That yes, I'm going to create this khalifa. Yes, his progeny, many of them are going to turn away from me. Yes, they're all going to commit sin. They're all going to do wrong. But there will be some of them who will turn back to me and ask me to forgive them. And I will forgive them. You see, true power, this is why understanding the attributes of Allah is, is difficult for the human mind. Because true power is not punishing when you have the capability to do so. True power is when you have the right to punish. Allah has the right to punish all of us for our sins. Allah is capable of punishing us. Yet He chooses to forgive those who seek His forgiveness. That's true power. When you have all the capabilities, all of the power to punish, and yet you lean towards forgiveness, and you're lenient and merciful. This is the Rabb that we serve. This is the Rabb that the Muslims worship is a Rabb who is forgiving, who is merciful, that knows that I'm going to sin, that knew that I was going to sin before He created me. So therefore, when I do so, I am going to turn to Him and beg Him to forgive me. And you will find Him to be most merciful. This is a beauty, beautiful part of Islam that I get from these verses. And Allah knows best.